Hey everybody, I am back. It's been a long time in retirement for Crackberry Kevin, but this month marks 10 years of Crackberry. So I've got the shirt on, I've got a pile of Blackberries in front of me, and I'm gonna start with an easy fun video because I'm clearly out of practice and a little out of shape and all that kind of stuff. Crackberry.com. I want to start with what is my favorite Blackberry of all time? And I'm going to want to know what's your favorite Blackberry of all time? So I've got the pile here. I'm missing some, but thinking back over 10 years of Blackberry since I got into it with this guy, the 72, 90, 50, 50, 90, something like that. There's been, well, curves, obviously. And then there's been guys like the Bolds. Remember this guy, the Pearl Flip Kickstart, the ever so sexy Blackberry style. Maybe this one's my favorite. Maybe this is like Regina George's favorite. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. You got newer guys like the Blackberry Classic, kind of skipping to the end here. A beautiful phone though, especially in blue. Look how hot that is. What else do we have? The Storm One, didn't go so well. A lot of people still love this thing though. It blows my mind that people love the Storm. Blackberry had to do a Storm Two to try to fix it up. Uh, don't forget the Torch, pretty cool slider. We've got a new slider called the Priv, which is missing. One of my colleagues stole it for me. We've got, oh my God, there's so many here. Obviously the original little Pearl. Look how, look how cute it is now. It's just this little guy, it's so cute. Uh, I can go on forever here. We got, remember this, the Boss 8800. This was like a pretty ball and foam. Uh, the new DTEK 60, this is Android power down, new style Blackberry. We've got the wide, wide, wide body passport. Only three rows on the keyboard, which is kind of weird, but Cool phone. I love this phone, the Brick, the 8700. This is, uh, this in a holster is like, this was maybe what made me like a Crackberry addict more than any other phone. My favorite of all time, without a doubt, it's gotta be the Blackberry Bolt 9000. Yes! When this came out, it, it came right after the Curve and the 8800, and this phone, beyond any other phone, was just bawling. I think we should dive into it. And you know what, I've got a couple here, including this, look at this. Crackberry Kevin, personalized edition. Yes! So what made the Bold 9000 such an awesome device for me? Now, there's a couple things here. This phone got announced in 2008, May 2008, around the time when the first iPhones were coming out. And this was a blingy Blackberry compared to anything we'd seen before. You know, Blackberry is when a lot of people start to, to learn about them. They looked like this. It wasn't even called a smartphone back then. It was a Blackberry wireless handheld device or something like that. And then, you know, Blackberry made a splash with the Pearl, which this is an old dummy unit, but it was like a little, little phone in comparison. And then they went business again with, you know, the 8700, which was a workhorse of a phone. And you could throw this thing and hit it with a baseball bat and it wouldn't break, which, you know, to this day is still a good feature in any smartphone. But it was all business still. There was no flash to it. And then there was phones like the 8800, which we're getting there. This is a, an 8830 World Edition, which was a good phone, CDMA. And then BlackBerry went with the Curve. An awesome phone, it got small, a very popular phone. But then the Bolt 9000 came out. And I was lucky enough to be the first guy in the world to get my hands on one and review this thing. I actually bought one off of eBay when it appeared. And I, I'll link to the video so you guys can go back and watch it. This was their 3G smartphone their, with the fastest browsers ever. You can see around the phone, they went with this you know, chrome band on it, which none of the other ones really had to the same extent. It was bigger, wider body phone again. Uh, whereas Blackberries were tending to get a little bit smaller and it just looked good. My favorite feature was the changeable battery door in the back. And legend has it, it wasn't a Blackberry employee who came up with this idea, but actually the founder, co-founder of Blackberry, Mike Lazaridis' wife, Ophelia, who came up with it and said, hey Mike, why don't you make it so you know I could change the back cover and make it kind of pretty? And he did it. So <laughs> not only did it come with uh, you know one cover, you could change it up and get custom covers. So if you wanted, you know, Maybe to go a little bit red leather for the evening, little alligator skin, or I don't know what this is. It's not Python, I don't think. You could do that. Or if you want to go, you know, what is this? Mocha, coffee, something tannish, I don't know. You could class it up. And there was another company called Coveroo that came out around that time, which did custom engraving of these things. So you can see we had a Crackberry one, I had the Crackberry Kevin one you saw earlier. I had some where they engraved metal in it, and this phone commanded attention wherever you went, and you felt good typing on it, and the keyboard was awesome. Blackberries that followed it had better keyboards, but this keyboard when it came out, uh, it was my favorite. You could just get such rhythm on it. I remember typing, I think we, we used to do testing up to like 65, 70 words per minute, which was kind of unheard of at the time on a smartphone. But the Blackberry Bold, uh, great phone for the era. I think for many of us who have been around a long time, it was the, the time when we really said like, man, this is just 
awesome. You know, we got excited like kids at Christmas. So this is my favorite Blackberry of all time. And I'm really excited for the upcoming Blackberry Mercury because I think there's a nostalgia factor about it that reminds me of the, it's, it brings back the warm and fuzzy feelings I used to get when I picked up these guys for the first time. But that's a little ways away. So in the meantime, in, in honor of Crackberry's 10th anniversary, I wanna know what's your favorite Blackberry of all time. Drop a comment below, let me know, hit me in Twitter, hit me on Instagram, hit me on YouTube, send an email to Kevin at crackberry.com. Drop it in the comments on the article. Wherever you see this, just answer the question. What was your favorite Blackberry of all time? Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel because it's not dead anymore. You're gonna see a lot of videos here to come. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yes.